Hello, I'm Anna Louise and today I'm going to share with you something that my dear friend Nikki shared with me yesterday and it's the fact that she is seeing her life as a journey in collecting light and it really touched me and when I asked her a little bit more she came back with these words and some beautiful pictures of the sun setting where she was in Brighton with seagulls passing by, beautiful light sky, amazing bright sun going down. And these were her words. What if every single thing you did, every moment, every breath, was a journey to complete yourself, filling yourself up with light, like little pieces, until the balance tipped? What if we all saw our lives as a journey of collecting light and filling ourselves up more and more with the things that feel good, feel supportive, relieve us from suffering, inspire us, inspire the people around us. And so today, I'm going to touch into this area a little bit more spontaneously and lead us into a little journey together. So I thought first of all I would spontaneously share what comes to my mind when I think of what are the things that fill up my light vessel and one of them is when I'm at the supermarket and I get talking to the person on the checkout as I pay for my goods. And I always ask them how their day is and strike up some sort of conversation. And I love seeing their smiles and their aliveness as they start talking about something that is dear to their heart. And that really fills me with light. <laughs> And I go away thinking, mm, in that moment, there's this lovely shared experience between us and smiles and wonder and joy, the pure joy and innocence of connection. And what else brings me light? <laughs> my light vessel is also filled up by playing my guitar. <laughs> As many of you might know, I've only been learning my guitar the last year and it doesn't matter that I'm not an expert guitar player, I just love it so much. It fills me with so much joy. <laughs> so now it's your turn. What? We'll go backwards and forwards. What, what fills you up with light? What inspires you? And you can say it out loud to me if you like. <laughs> and what is it about it that fills you up with light? And I'm just receiving the, <laughs> receiving the vibes. <laughs> so uh, we'll go backwards and forwards a few times, make this interactive. So another thing that fills me up with light is feeling playful in my body. So whether that's bouncing on my trampoline, <laughs> I've got a little, little indoor trampoline, or playing paddle tennis, or trying to do like things I haven't done in my body before, or doing a handstand on the beach. Yeah, that feels like it. It fills me up with light in a different way. It's like here I am in physicality, in this unique body, and I'm experimenting this body and getting to really be here on planet Earth with all of my sensory experience. And to keep exploring that sensory experience and the magic of the fact my body can continually learn and do new things. It's just mesmerising. So, your turn. <laughs> what fills you up? with light. Hmm. And yeah, what is it about it that 
inspires you, lightens you. So I'll go again. Another thing that really fills me up with light is learning how to come into more authentic connection with people. So coming out of all the patterns that I've learned in relating and opening myself up to experience other humans more directly without the words or with few words and where things are arising like my stuff is being triggered to be able just to hold that in a big space and not follow the story of any reactivity. That fills me up with light because I feel like I'm connecting into something that's much more real. And it fills me up with light because it feels like I'm transcending or, or learning slowly how to transcend my habitual patterns. And it fills me up with light because the connection feels so powerful and real and heart centered, even with a stranger. It just feels so magical. It feels like this is what all human connection can, can be and has a potential to be. So it inspires me to follow that path. <laughs> and your turn. <laughs> One more for you. <laughs> what? What other things fill you, fill you up with light? Maybe several things, more things come to mind. This is a good game, right? <laughs> this is a great game. And I invite you to play the game either with yourself, like maybe morning and night time or with someone else, like on WhatsApp maybe, or on the phone, or in person if you're living with someone, or with a good friend. And notice, or I invite you to notice to see how it feels once you've done it, with some, done that practice with someone, like how you both feel, how connected you feel, how inspired you feel, like how big your light vessel feels, <laughs> just by turning our attention. And what's magical, isn't it, is that just by spending a few minutes doing this, it changes our future. <laughs> I know that's a bit melodramatic, but it does change our future because we'll be more open to what's bringing us light and inspiring us. And it might change one decision tomorrow or the next day that we wouldn't have made if we hadn't contemplated this. And then that, who knows what might open up as a result of that. Time and time again, I'm mesmerised by how one small choice in the past can totally transform my life. And it's like, wow. So I invite us to celebrate what brings us light, to keep noticing what brings us light and to share the journey with others in this simple practice, which just can be a few minutes long each day. <laughs> Sending you lots of light, lots of love and freedom and if you like this video, do press the little thumbs up and do subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And do share the video, like perhaps there's someone that you can think of right now you'd like to share this practice with. And so if you share the video so they get a sense of what it entails, you can then, then perhaps practice it together. Mm -hmm. If you want to know more about me and the work I do, go to www resonating dot love. Thank you for sharing your light with me today. <laughs>